Hello, welcome to another episode of Painting with Mr. Kindergarten. Just as children learn how to read and write, they can also learn how to paint, and I'm here to show you how to do that today. We're going to paint snails. Now, usually I do the snails when we do an insect unit, and I know in, uh, snails are not insects. Insects have three body parts, they have six legs, usually they have wings, so obviously snails are not insects, but we do study snails and worms and all kinds of other creatures at the same time, so we can do a compare and contrast. So we're going to paint our snail today, and our snail is going to need two colors. Now I'm going to use yellow and orange, and a little later we're going to need black as well. But you can choose any two colors to make your snail. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our paper horizontal like a horse, and we're going to start with the shell. So whatever color you're going to use for your shell, you're going to make a giant circle right in the middle, and then you're going to color it all in. Fill it in so we don't have any white spots in there. Just like that. And it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It can be kind of an oval. It doesn't matter as long as it's all one solid color. Now we're going to take out our second color. In my case, it happens to be yellow. But again, you can use any color. In fact, with my, with my students, I allow them to choose any color they want. And we're going to make our head, and it's going to go up like that, and come back down, and it's going to go straight over here, and towards the end here, we're going to have it just lie straight right there. You get a little orange on it, just mix it up, and it magically disappears. So that is our body right there. You can see at the end here, it kind of comes to a point, connects to the shell, goes under the shell, and comes up here and rounds off and comes back down like that. Now we need to put two sticks right here. Now a lot of people think those are antennae. They're not antennae, those are the actual eyes. So we're gonna put two little circles right there and we're done with this color. Now we need our black. And we're gonna use a small brush because we're gonna put some detail in there. We're gonna put the eyes right there. And if you've ever held a snail, you know if you touch those eyes, they kind of disappear into their head. In fact, when we uh, have uh, insects, uh, every Monday for the entire month, we have an insect of a day or insect of the day or a creature of the day. And what I do is I bring in 32 snails, actually a few extras, uh, one for each student. They get to adopt a snail. That's their snail for the entire day. We do all kinds of activities with snails, have snail races. They draw their snail. They, they write about their snail. And, of course, we paint our snail. And if you hold up a snail uh, real close, you can see the mouth is actually formed like that. But we're going to make our snail a happy snail. So we're going to actually give him a smile. You can even give him some cheeks right there. Now, this next part can be a little tough for some of the kids, but if you do it step by step, it's actually very easy. You're going to start by putting a dot right in the middle of the shell. And we're going to start here, and we're going to make the letter C. So we're not going to take off the, the brush yet. We're going to go around again. We're going to be careful not to touch the previous lines. If you have to get some more paint, make sure you start right back where you left off. And you keep going around, get some more paint, get right back where you left. Keep going around, make sure you don't hit the line. You're going to go around and around and around. Now the last time, you're going to outline the shell. Just like that. All the way around until the entire shell is outlined and there's our snail. So, thank you for joining us today. And if you have any suggestions, anything you'd like to see us paint uh, or draw or create, contact us at facebook.com slash Mr. Kindergarten or go directly to our website at mrkindergarten.com. And I am Mr. Kindergarten. I thank you for being with us. Keep using art in your lessons, and I'll see you next time.